What's good? What's good, you two? Once again, it's one and only OG Hollywood coming at you with the one and only Ferguson Chronicle, where we bring it live from the day room to the living room to the streets. In this case, we taking it to the murder to the murder work. Today, I have in studio an individual by the name of Man, and Man is here to tell his time spent in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. But like always, I have to tell you a little bit about me. Did 25 flat in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Was on three units. However, anybody that comes to this screen, we are brothers of the struggle. So without further ado, let's tap in with man, please. What's good, man? What's up with it, OG Hollywood? What's good, homie? <laughs> oh, man. Like I was telling the viewers, man, I brought you in, man, so you can tell your story, man, because can't nobody tell your story like you can, man. But uh, to start this thing out, man, do me a favor, man. Go ahead and tell the viewers where you're from, what led to the prison, and uh, that's pretty much it, man. Okay, yeah. My name is Carl Lindsay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody call me, you know, C-Man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm Triple OG. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the murder work, Funky Town, Fort Worth, South Side to be exact. You know what I'm saying? The bottom. You know what I'm saying? Hooverland. You know, that's where I'm from, you know. And uh, what led me to prison, you know what I'm saying? Out here wilding out, you know, doing that, you know, dumb shit, you know, playing around with a pistol, man. And uh, a situation occurred and, uh, you know, got me locked up, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this, man. So uh, how much time were you sentenced to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, man? And uh, what unit did you... Did you arrive on? Uh, they gave me five aggravated years, and uh, they sent me to the high tower unit. Back in 92, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had went to this little boot camp, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I didn't really make it through there. I had two weeks to go, and uh, I got into a little situation. I just couldn't leave that street life alone, you know what I'm saying? Being with, you know, knowing the status I got, you know, it just made a nigga just feel like, you know, a nigga unstoppable, you know? Can't nobody tell a nigga nothing. So, you know, I had two weeks to go before I go home, but uh, I violated and uh, they sent me back to the county. So uh, that, uh, I was in, that, that was like 93. And then from that point on, you know what I'm saying, they sent me down uh, to the uh, penitentiary, you know. They wanted to reinstate me, but I told them I, I couldn't make that, man, because I can't take all that, get in my face, yelling, you know, I'd have been done, done something that I regret, like, you know, how G's do, man. Regret shit sometimes. So let me ask this, man. So uh, during your time, man, it takes a part of the criminal justice, man. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that uh, that went on in your life and up, man. And some of the things that that you still use your everyday life as a free man from a positive standpoint, man. What made you realize and see that prison wasn't for, wasn't for you? Man, I was young when I went in there, you know what I'm saying? Nigga went in, you know, not thinking, not caring about nothing, you know, just being a young nigga, man, you know. And uh, when I got in that system, you know, it was a totally different ball game, you know what I'm saying? You being told what to do, you know what I'm saying? When the shit shaving, baby, man, you know? So, uh, you know, that was a wake up call for me. Like, damn, nigga can't stay up, nigga can't do this, you can't, you know, you being watched, you know? It's just, it was just crazy. Then you're here with all type of, criminals, you know what I'm saying? So that was a way then, you know, moms getting sick, you know, people dying, you know, you can't go be there at the funeral or nothing, you know, so stuff like that just made me just say, you know what I'm saying? After a while, I just kind of chilled out, man. You know, in the beginning, I was wilding though, you know, you know what I'm saying? Getting cases and, and, and commissary restrictions, sale restrictions and all that, you know what I'm saying? And then a nigga started waking up at the end though, you know, because Five years was a small time, but it felt like a long time when you behind that wall, man. That's a bet. You know so let me ask this, man. Uh, let me ask you about. Uh, I'm gonna ask you about a little bit of your upbringing, man. Okay. What was it like for for C man to grow up in Fort Worth? Man, when I grew up, I didn't know I was poor like I was. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a shotgun house. You know what I'm saying? On the south side of Fort Worth. You know. 
10, 15, these kind of street, man. You know what I'm saying? My grandmother, you know, my mom had me when she was young. She was like 17. And my dad was an old school nigga, you know what I'm saying? He was like 40, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where the name man came from. They used to call me like old man, baby type shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh I guess my grandma got tired of them saying that and just say, just call me man. You know, and there's so many mans around the neighborhood and in Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying? When I started banging, that's when I adopted the name C Man, you know what I'm saying? For Crippin' Man, you know, to separate the different mans yeah. that's, you know, around the hood, you know, and around the way, you know. So growing up in Fort Worth, man, as a as a as a banger, right? Mm-hmm. What was that like for you? Well, in the beginning, you know, like before Christmas started, you know, it was already like gangster shit going on in the murder. You know, like in our hood, we had the uh, South Side villains, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the best street players in the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the villains was the first gang that was in our neighborhood before uh, the Christmas started. That was like in the early 80s, right there, the villains. And then the mid 80s is when the Christmas came, you know what I'm saying? But I've been knowing about it way before all my homies did, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been bumping into dudes that, you know, from LA, like Doc. I got a homie named Doc. He from a Trey Gangster. He came down here in 83, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, I met another guy, you know, he a preacher now, you know, Ori, you know what I'm saying? You know, he from Watts, you know? So I, I met a lot of, you know what I'm saying, like G dude, you know, G homies, you know what I'm saying? When I was a youngster, you know what I'm saying? It just, I didn't know you know, the, you know, what was, you know, it was about, so I studied, you know what I'm saying? I had came up with these articles, you know, it had all the signs, you know, how you throw up all the sets yeah. from grips, bloods, pyro, it had all that, you know what I'm saying, in this book, you know, that I had, you know what I'm saying? So I studied and started learning. So I learned what creeping was about, but I just wasn't with no gang at that time, you know what I'm saying? The villains were still around and all that. So when I bumped into the, to my partner, you know, Lil' Rank, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. That's the big homie right there. You know, he the one brought it here. It came from LA to Louisiana, then from Louisiana to her, you know, like that. Through the rank, you know what I'm saying? So so once you got affiliated, you know, with, with the Crips, right? Mm-hmm. Uh what did you go from there as far as from your cripping? How how did you Use your cripping to get you from point A to point B. If I'm, you know, if I'm asking, you, what you mean, like the survival? Yeah. Oh, it's it really it ain't no individual thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a group effort. You know what I'm saying? On survival, we never went nowhere solo. You know what I'm saying? Like around the hood, yeah. But like, if you're going outside your your comfort zone, you never we never went by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We was either deep or just two of us, you know, most time it was just two of us, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody in our hood, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have your main nigga, you know what I'm saying? But we all family, but you got your main nigga that everywhere you go, you go, you do what he do, you know, he do what you do or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's how it went in our hood, you know, it's a few homies that, you know, everybody got their own little, you know, homies that they, you know, attached to and they kick it with, do shit with, you know? So, let me ask this, man, uh, we'll move on. What mm -hmm. do you think, from your personal opinion, what's the difference between when you was growing up as a crib and, you know, now you, you know you're still what you are, but what was the difference between then and now as far as the crib? Well, uh, Really, with me, it ain't no different. It's just I'm not out here, you know, I ain't active like out here holding, you know, toting pistols, running up on niggas, you know, doing it, you know, like a nigga used to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't out here doing that no more. I'm a big homie, man. I lead by example, you know what I'm saying? I don't just talk it, I walk it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, with me, I pay attention to what a nigga say, but I also watch your actions, because if your actions ain't lining up with what you saying, then how I'm gonna believe you, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's that's me. You know, I pay attention to it because actions speak louder than words, man. You know what I'm saying? If I talk it, trust me, I'm walking it. You know what I'm saying? And at some time and point, mm -hmm. if you feel like that you're crippling and the activity that you participated in landed you in prison? 
Yeah, yeah, man. Cause you know, like what had happened was okay. A homie had got shot, right? And uh, he got robbed and got shot. So he get word to me, want to holler at me and shit. You know what I'm saying about something. So I'm at a club. You know what I'm saying, chilling. You know what I'm saying, hanging out where the cribs hang. It's a club called the Nighty Night. You know what I'm saying. It was it was three clubs back then. It was the Nighty Night. It was the Victory Lounge. Then it was the Hot Spot. You know what I'm saying? Jane Campbell had the nighty night. He a homie from the hood. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was balling out. You know, he went from balling, smoking, then he came back up and started like buying, you know, businesses, investing his money. You know what I'm saying? So he had this club called the night. I was up and there. And you know what I'm saying? And, and my dude, you know, he resting in peace now. You know, he came and got me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause he already know, you know what I'm saying, how I was, you know, how I do, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. So uh, with me, man, it you come get me, man. It, it's no talking, man. You know, it, it's action. It, it's it's time to get it. You know what I'm saying? We can talk afterwards, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when your homie call up on you, it, it's like an emergency, like 911. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out there and do it. You don't ask no question like, what's happening? You know, what, 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 what went wrong? You know, this, that, and the other. I don't do all that shit. I, I jump in the car, let's go. You know, whatever happened, happened, then you get back, we talk about it. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it was with me. You know what I'm saying? But my homie, yeah, he came and got me, you know what I'm saying, because of all that, like that. And um, he had a, a homegirl in the car. And uh, before I got to the car, I was telling him, man, cuz she don't need to be in the car, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, I'm going to drop her off at the motel. I was like, all right, bet. So I jump up in the car. Boom, you know what I'm saying? We get out, we take off. He finna go to the room, you know what I'm saying, drop her off, but we didn't get there. You know, he had a homie in the car with us, though, but I ain't no cuz, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I heard some clicking and clacking and over there, and I asked homie, you know, what's that he doing? Because, you know, Ghetto had uh, some real dark tint on, his, on the window. So, homie, you know what I'm saying, put the strap up in my hand and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at it. So I tell my own girl, you know what I'm saying, look out, you know what I'm saying? Like, watch yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna look at this weapon. So I'm looking at it, you know, fucking with it, you know what I'm saying, and, and seeing what it do. And it was jammed. So I'm trying to unjam that mug and 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 man, it was, I ain't my hand wasn't even on the trigger. That mug just, man, my hand slipped off that thing. So pulling it back too hard and it went out, boom, and it hit my homegirl, man. You know what I'm saying? And to this day, you know, I think about that shit. You know, that shit still fucks with me, you know what I'm saying? And uh them niggas bail out the car on me. You know what I'm saying? So I jump up in the front seat. You know what I'm saying? And took off and got to the uh, St. Joe's. You know, it used to be a hospital down here called St. Joe's. They knocked it down now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, man, believe it or not, man, cause I, man, every man, the most high is my witness, man. This girl was, she wounded really bad, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she had the conscience enough to tell me what to do when I got to the hospital. Cause I'm driving like rapidly, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get it up. Cause, you know, this my home girl right here. Yeah. And she part of this, this family, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I ain't feeling, man, them niggas bump, jumped out running. I boom, man. Because I'm thinking, too, I'm, I'm always calm under pressure, you know? So I get her to the hospital. I was going to jump out the car, run in there and tell somebody that, you know, we got somebody shot out here. And uh, she say, no. She grabbed my arm and say, no, blow the horn. So I'm, bah, 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 bah. They start running out with wheelchairs and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So they got in the car. I mean, out the car, put in the truck, took it in. I could have drove off. I could have did all that. But I didn't, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I pulled over, parked. I took the burner out, put it in the bushes. You know what I'm saying? You know, try to hide it. But it was blood all in the car and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I uh, sat there on top of the trunk, you know, just thinking like, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope she all right. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know, that's why I didn't want her in the car, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because either that, because what we was finna go do, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want her there, man. She didn't need to witness this. She didn't need no, cause she come from a good background, straight yeah. up, a good background. Even though they lived in the in, in the in the in the hood like that, but man, her background is A1, man. You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want her in the car like that. And then that shit happened, you know, that all that just playing my mind it just fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be mad at myself. I'd be kicking myself in the ass sometimes when I think about that shit. I try not to, 
you know what I'm saying? But I, I talked to her, you know what I'm saying, when I was in jail, you know, uh, about this shit. You know, they put the shit out in the paper and everything, man. Yeah. They tried to, you know, make a nigga seem like, you know, because I was on gang foul and uh, they, they got me and Frank at the same time and put us on foul together, you yeah. know? So they got all that shit. And then uh, when I'm in the county, you know, she signed a non-prosecution affidavit on me, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't intentional, you know what I'm saying? So she signed a non-prosecution affidavit. And then uh, I had sent some, like, flowers, you know. I'm in the county. I'm sending flowers, cards to her, you know, and let her know, you know, ask, did she forgive me? You know, I'm sorry. You know, I was doing all that. She said she forgave me. You know, she signed the non-prosecution, right? Man, they come up in there, you know, talking about I'm patronizing the wit uh, uh, the uh, the witnesses or some shit, you know, try to hit me with some weak shit, talking about I'm scaring the witness, uh, the victim, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because she signed a non-prosecution affidavit and I'm for, and I'm a known gang member, you know? I'm like, man, you don't even know half of what you're talking about, man. That, that girl grew up around the corner from me, man. You know, yeah. went to school with her cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they can kill that. That's the only thing, man. That really, really, man. That 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 in my life, man. That I really regret, and and that that just fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? Because she wounded for life, man. She lost the eye of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I never talk about this. This is the first time, man. I'm ever, and and I'm giving it to you. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, you know what I'm saying. You're a real one, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know where you're going with your platform. So yeah, this first time I've spoke on it, man. You know what I'm saying? I did five calendar years for that shit, you know, and it was well deserved though, because I had no business, you know, fucking with that weapon like that at 17, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with them, you know, uh, um, Tech 9, you know, they called it a, a automatic machine. I mean, nine millimeter machine gun is what they said in the newspaper article, but you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it was, man. It was a tech, you know what I'm saying? Bitch had a hard trigger on it, you know? So let me ask this man. So during that five year stint, man. Yeah. From a mental standpoint, right? Mm hmm. How did that affect you during your time where you didn't, where that didn't trickle into something else with the other inmates? How did, how did you keep that aside from the time that you was doing? Oh uh, man, I, I just went in, you know what I'm saying, with a different frame of mind because like when I was in the county, you know what I'm saying, like they 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 start me out in population, you know what I'm saying? But when homies found out that I was in there, they yelling down, talking about niggas wanna get put on, you know, you know what I'm saying? With us, the deuce, five deuces, we didn't do that shit. All that jailhouse shit, that's they, niggas doing that shit for PC and you know what I'm saying, protect the custody type shit. You wasn't doing it in the world. Why you all of a sudden now you in jail, you know what I'm saying? You all you want to get out. You know, niggas start yelling down the run. Look how I be on woo, 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 woo. I'm like, man, cuz, stop calling me. We ain't putting no niggas on in jail. You niggas should have do that shit out in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Why nigga want to come to jail all of a sudden and want to get out and, you know, be a gangster? You know what I'm saying? Come on, cuz, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But niggas do do it, but I didn't do it. You know, I ain't allowed that shit. I ain't no kid, none of that shit. But you got some G homies. Fuck a nigga up up in the county, but I didn't do it, man. So uh, the guards got wind of that shit, man. So they lock a nigga up, put me in rotation. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm in rotation time. I'm locked up 23 hours a day. Only come out one hour in the day room and shit. And then when the guards come in, do them tank checks, they always noticing when somebody in the day room, when they come in there, they sitting down where my cell is, chopping it with just me. You know what I'm saying? They was getting wind of that kind of shit. So uh, I don't know what it was, man. Some I just hit the wall up, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they just fucking with me and shit all the time. So I just wrote the, the setup on the wall, hit everybody's name up on it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put no cross eyes and no this and that. I just put the hood, you know, and the homies and the homegirls up on that. And uh, they came in and saw that shit, man. <laughs> and them hoes, man, they came in taking pictures, you know what I'm saying? They locked me up, man. Put me in our role, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask this here, see, man. So now that we've distinguished men 
from the past i want to talk about the man of the future right yeah and that's what's important man because what i want what i want to do here at the Ferguson chronicle man i always like to show growth in a man's life yes sir <laughs> so, let's talk about some of the positive things since you've been out and i'll let you explain that some of the positive thing that that's went on in your life and not only that how long you've been free already uh, yeah uh you know since i've been out well when i was down there i mean I, I learned a couple of trades i took up uh uh what was that a floor technician you know how you stripping wax buff yeah, yeah I, I learned that because I was getting in too much trouble, man, getting commissary restrictions, all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I got tired of all that, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I wanted to learn something different. So I took up two trades. I learned uh, on the unit I was on, I learned uh, the uh, floor technician shit, you know, stripping and waxing, burning carpet, all that. You know what I'm saying? Then I took culinary arts when I went to this pre release. I, I started chilling. They, they made a deal with me. They said, man, if you just chill for six months, we'll try to move you as close to the home as we can. And, and they did. You know what I'm saying? I chilled out. I honored that shit. They honored there. They got me to this pre-release, man. You know what I'm saying? Close to the home. It was in Bridgeport. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I learned culinary arts. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I've been married 26 years. You know what I'm saying? I raised five kids, man. You know, two of them married. You know what I'm saying? My youngest is 23, the oldest is 31. You know, I got five grandkids, oldest grandkid, 13, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been home 26 years. You know, I've been working uh, since I've been home. For, uh, tw I've been home 26, I've been working 25, you know, because it was a little rough on me in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, man, I bought me a house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm living, man, I, I, like I say, I'm a I'm, I'm perfect example of a, of a real OG, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a triple, you know what I'm saying? That's just facts, you know? You know what I'm saying? All my little homies are OGs now, you know? And uh, they seeing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? So they do it now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of married, you know, selling down, you know what I'm saying? Niggas in the owner's box. I got young OGs on stores, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, say. <laughs> Yeah, they doing yeah. they thing, man. Yeah, the level headed with the ones that ain't hot headed. You know, you got all that. You still got the hot heads and, and all that, but the level headed ones, the ones who really was hungry, want to know, you know what I'm saying, how it go, you know what I'm saying? Shit, they 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 watch, man. And look, I just tell them nigga, don't just pay attention to what a nigga's saying. See if that nigga actions line up with what he's saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit, cause my actions line up perfect, you know what I'm saying? I, I I don't have no flaws, you know what I'm saying? I, I you know I'm a loyal nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I love my niggas, you know what I'm saying? And my home girls, you know what I'm saying? And and it, you know, and I'm gonna be the one to shout out to my home girls, my god too, man, cause I never see people do that, you know what I'm saying? They always the homeboys and shit, you know what I'm saying? But man, it, it's 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 what's up and, and big ups, you know what I'm saying, to all my home girls, man, all y'all. You know what I'm saying? The ones I grew up with that I ain't seen in years, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all doing well, you know what I'm saying? Living y'all life, man, you know what I'm saying? But see, you know, cause see, man, done changed, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm living, I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got a good life going on. I've been working 10 years on my job, you know what I'm saying? Doing them flows and all that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't shy with that shit, man. You know, shit. Right I'm on. trying to get, you know, I'm trying to get in the owner's box, but hey, it's a slow process. But it's for sure thing going though, man. It's for sure though. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm clocking in and out, man. I'm ten tight with it in one spot. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's up, man. So let me ask you this, man. So, what are some things in the murder world? In the last 26 years that you saw right mm -hmm. what are some things that need to be addressed in the murder work man the thing you know the when they took the cold blue away from these kids man and the safe havens and shit you know what i'm saying all that played a role in slowing and stopping violence bro and that's these facts man 
when they took all that shit away and then legalized guns in Texas, you can just open carry. Man, niggas start doing the fools out here. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just hope, you know what I'm saying, these little niggas just wake up because, you know, if, if you're a young nigga out there and y'all looking at this, man, y'all paying listen, man. Man, I'm a real big homie, my nigga. I, I'm, I'm the biggest of them all, man, when it comes to this, you know, to this Hoover, cuz I'm, I'm I'm speaking on five dudes only. You know what I'm saying? No other says. I'm talking about five dudes, man. The biggest homie out of this shit, man. And these are facts. You know what I'm saying? Trace it, ask somebody, come to the bottom. You know, I'm always outside, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, holler at me, man. You know, we can chop it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. You know, because it, we need to, a lot of niggas out here say they, oh, geez. You know what I'm saying? But they little homies wilding out. You know what I'm saying? You know, is you scared of your little homies? You know what I'm saying? Man, talk to your little, you got to show them something. How can you be a G and your little homie got more than you? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to speak on nothing if, if if I ain't with that. How am I saying I'm something and I ain't leading like that, man? You know what I'm saying? That's what these niggas fall at. You know what I'm saying? Misleading the youngsters, man. You know what I'm saying? The young niggas need to just wake up. You know what I'm saying? Close their mouths and open their ears, man. And know and listen to the ones that they know. You know what I'm saying? If you don't take heed to somebody that been there, done that and matter of fact started that you know what i'm saying what else what what more can a nigga do you know what i'm saying nigga done ran out of option you know what i'm saying so you know i just hope somebody can reach the uh the little homies you know what i'm saying you know wilding out out here man you know they hide behind these pistols man then you get down there to that big house man ain't no pistol down there the only pistols them, them gloves my nigga they gonna chunk them at you you know what i'm saying see how you chunk them so you know I don't know, man. You know, the little homies just need to wake up, man. You know, not just my little homies good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in general, all the little ones, you know, the niggas as young as me that's out here trying to find their way or whatever, they getting under the wrong wing or something. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, it's all right to holler at me. You know what I'm saying? A closed mouth don't get fed. So, you know, I just don't volunteer information. You know what I'm saying? And that's facts. You know? So, let me ask you this here, man. So, and uh, like I tell everybody, man, that in society, you pretty much can be what you want to be. Yeah. Until you reach your end of the rope. That's right. Which is either dead or in prison. Yeah. And once you get to prison, you're equal to the next man that sits next to you. Uh -huh. And the only thing that y'all gonna share you gonna have a number, and he gonna have a number. Yeah. Every, everything is a number in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And like I always tell people, man, your character matters. Yeah. Whether you free or whether you locked up. That's right. You will be judged on your character. And it's character over everything. Yeah. So, uh, like I say, man, uh, it is what it is, man. And to the viewers that's watching this video, man, just like he said, man, he's a true triple OG. 26 years of freedom. Been to prison one time on a five-year stint. Yeah. When most men have revisited prison time after time and haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this, man. So mm -hmm. if you can give any advice to anybody that's watching this video, man, on how to stay free mm -hmm. and have success in their life, man, from your personal opinion, man, how would they make how would they make that happen, man? Man, you just gotta pay attention to their surroundings, man. Just think about what you, you know, got in trouble for, you know what I'm saying? And learn from that. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit I got in trouble for, nigga don't go back to that, man. You know, niggas thought I was gonna get out and just come back to it, you know, just wilding out like that. Nah, I'm still affiliated. That's just facts, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
you know, and uh, I just hope that, you know, everybody just, like I say, little homies, pay attention to your surroundings, man. You know shit from sugar, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It, it's simple. You know, pay attention to a nigga action, man. You know what I'm saying? Because these niggas out here, man, say, it's crazy. You know, it's wild. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just stay, I just go where I go and stay where I stay at, man. That's it. You know, I fuck with who I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I don't go nowhere where I don't belong. You know, I'm still in that mode right there. You know what I'm saying? I know where I ain't supposed to be. I don't go over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just facts, man. Yeah. I, you know, you know, that's what that's the problem. The niggas going in other niggas' hood without passing, because like I say, it's still like that. You know, it's just some niggas ain't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Because you you think you, you just pop up in a nigga hood like that? No, man. It's still protocol with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing out here. You know, niggas tripping off that. You know, violating that. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's it's a lot of violations, but I just I just kick back, man. You know. And, and just OG man, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I try yeah, to, yeah. Get, I said, you know, I hope a nigga just paying attention, you know what I'm saying, learning something by my nigga actions, you know what I'm saying, not just what a nigga say, you know, look at a nigga actions, man, you know what I'm saying, cause see the same way I'm getting it, you can get it, you know what I'm saying. I didn't get this shit overnight, you know what I'm saying. It took a nigga twenty some years to get this shit, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then on the end of getting out. You know what I'm saying? It's rough in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Cause when I got out, it, it took like six months for your background check came back. So I got six months. I know if they hire me to get all I got. You know what I'm saying? Show up on time. You know all that. You know what I'm saying? I had to practice something man I never did before. You know, cause I was 11 years old when I grew up. Man, my mama used to buy me squares, all that shit. You know, she yeah. just allow a nigga smoke no weed or nothing, but she knew a nigga was doing that shit too. You know what I'm saying? At level, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I ain't had to come home when the street light came on. You know what I'm saying? My mom, she was young, she had me. So it's just, I guess that's why I grew up so fast. You know, 11 years old, you know, smoking squares, hanging out with, with older niggas, you know, you know yeah. way older than me, learning. You know, I learned so much, man, in, in so many hoods, you know, cause my mom's lived in Berry Hill. She stayed over there like 30 years, but we lived with our grandmama on the south. But we used to go over there and bury here, you know, and spend nights with her and back, you know what I'm saying? Then when she get mad at my grandmama, she take us, you know, and we switch school, you know, back yeah. and forth. So that's how I know. That's why, I, like, bury here, that's my second home right there, man. I know all them cats over there. You know, shout out to the Mitchell boys, you know, my nigga Maniac, my nigga Murder Kill, you know, that's Dre Freeman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah, man. Shout out to them cats, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them my them my dudes right there. You know. Once again, real life people real life story was nothing is ever scripted at the Ferguson Chronicle, and we bring it live from the murder web today, man. With Triple O G C, man. That's me. So let me ask you this, man, and we bring this thing to a close, man. And mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask you from your personal opinion. What do you think about the Ferguson Chronicle platform, man? Say, man, man, listen, man, I salute you, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like real from a G to a G, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, this is, you know, like I say, this second time I ever did this, you know what I'm saying? I did it, you know, my brother then was, you know, he 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 had me to do the first, you know, I love, yeah. I love he blew me up. Say, man, you need to go fuck the real too. So I fucked it with two, you know, shout out to little homie, you know. But uh, that was the first time, you know, because I, I usually don't, you know what I'm saying, do all that, you know, camera shit, you know what I'm saying. I be in little rap videos and shit like that. You know, my homies call me, want me in them video cameo on, and, and yeah. I, was, I I partaked in uh, the first Funky Town movie. I got a little killing scene in there, and you know what I'm saying, and uh, I got a little bit going in the second movie. They ain't finished yet, you know. They ain't got down to the part where they need me for the – gangsterism you know what i'm saying and all that you know so yeah yeah i'm trying to learn how to be i want to learn that management thing man <laughs> yeah. connect dots you know what i'm saying because i got some homies that can, got skills on that mic you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Trying, you know connect dots and shit you know i'm thinking i'm a manager and shit but you know i ain't, i ain't learned that shit so i don't want to be jumping in no shit that i don't know nothing about then they get fucked over then now i'm 
back, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want no parts of that shit, man. So if I learn it, you know, and study it and, and it's for me, then I'll make that move. But I'm gonna connect dots. I'm gonna turn, you know, turn you on to, you know, this, that, and the other like that. I'm I'm trying to get there, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And trying to get my wife one of these food trucks, you know, uh restaurant or something, you know, because she man, yeah. baby gets down, man. My baby cook like man, like it's no other, man. <laughs> Every time yeah. we tell somebody we got them plates, give me this. I did we sell out before we didn't finish, you know what I'm saying? Cause they call it in the mortars, you know. So yeah, I got I got a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, it just, when they need to just, you know, just stop looking at, you know what I'm saying? My past, man, my history, you know, I'm beyond statute limitations on that shit. You know, my credit score is an eight, cuz, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, eight. Is that the highest you can get? Or is it higher? Yeah, you, you, you can go to an 830. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking I'm right there then. You know, I'm at an eight, you know what I'm saying? I have went yeah. from a four or whatever that is to eight now, man, in 26 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good look, man. That's why I yeah. say, man, that's the reason why I say, man, that we keep it 110 here. When yeah. nothing is ever scripted. Right. It's what you give is what the people get. Yeah. At the Ferguson Chronicle, man. Yeah. And uh, like I said, man, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, man. But you're gonna close out on your note, man. And okay. salute to whoever you feel like you want to salute to, man. And just, you know, do what a triple OG do, man. Okay. Hey, once again, man, it's the fucking town south side, man. Triple OG. See, man. You know what I'm saying? Dudes gang. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to the H gang, homies. You know what I'm saying? The trays. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, man, you know, I don't care what set you from, you know what I'm saying? Big ups, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out, you know what I'm saying? I got to show some love to my motherfucking niggas, man, you know, a Trey Gangster, you know what I'm saying? Doc, man, you know what I'm saying? My nigga from Harlem Rolling 30, man, you know, Teflon, you know what I'm saying? These some OG niggas, man. My nigga Maniac from Berry Hill, you know, you know, uh, the Mitchell boys, man. Shout out to, man, say, the whole... Bottom, you know what I'm saying? The land, stand up, the Hoover land, Ag land, Pollywood, Hooverwood, you know what I'm saying? All groovers, man. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Man, listen, everybody, man, guns down, knuckle up. It ain't gonna hurt, man, to knuckle up, you know what I'm saying? Because look, if you squeeze that trigger and you kill that nigga, you might as well get ready to go down there, man, get you a punk in a bunk and lay it down, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't gonna get no more ass out here, man. Pussy is gonna be no more for you. So if you young niggas like fucking, you better stop ducking, man. You know, these fades, nigga, and put them goddamn pills down, knuckle up, man. You know what I'm saying? Take it back to how we was doing it. Cause man, listen, Funky Town was a fighting uh, uh, town, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got six world champions from the shoulders come up out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? These facts. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we used to shadow box, chest box. We did all that. So, look, everybody, man, that's listening, man, to your boy, man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, shout out to my nigga JJ, too, man. Yeah, that's the nigga that got my game, you know what I'm saying? My my hustling game tight, man, with the switch it on me and shit like that, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that nigga that I've been saying. That nigga that was a cold-ass nigga with that. You know, when they say the hands quicker than the eye, boy, say that nigga made that a true statement. For real, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, you know, I can go on and on, man, but uh, you know, I know we ain't got that much time, bro. But yeah, man, salute to all everybody that's doing their thing out here, niggas that's trying to do their thing, and niggas that's want to do their thing, you know what I'm saying? If there's anything, man, you niggas want to holler at me about, man, man, shit, man, come holler at me, you know what I'm saying? We can chop it, my nigga. It's all love, trust me, cuz it's love, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? See, man, don't do that kind of shit, man. I don't shit on niggas, you know what I'm saying, or none of that. If niggas out here only got the platform, continue doing y'all thing, man. Just stop the, you know, let niggas get under your skin, you know what I'm saying, and back and forth and all that. You know, that's like a distraction. You can't help no nigga if you're doing all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just wish niggas just come together, man, and, and, and stop the, you know, the, the back and forth, you know, because... It's a lot of niggas that got a platform that can help a lot of niggas, boy. 
You know what I'm saying? I be seeing it, but I just, I don't say nothing, man. I just see it and, and just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, you know? Once again, real life story, real life people with nothing is ever scripted, and today is no different. Like I said, I'm bringing it to you with a triple OG C man straight out of Fort Worth, Texas, man. And uh, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. And believe me, man, your word matters on the Ferguson Chronicle, man. And uh, it's a bunch of knowledge that's been dropped today, man. And I wouldn't do nothing else less other than bring you back, man. So you yes. will be back, man. So uh, continue to keep your head up, man. No doubt. And continue to progress like you did for the last 26 years, man. Sir, out to you, man. Salute yeah. to you. Much love, much respect. Yes, sir. Anything that's around you, man, may God touch and bless, man. Likewise to you, homie, for real. It was, and they say it was out of the meet you too, bro. You it's know, all good, good, man. It's, it's love yeah. on everybody's end, man. That's what yeah. we're here for, man. Yeah, that's you what know, we're here for, man. Yeah. The little Duke, man, say big ups to my little homie, man. That's my young homie right there, little Duke, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did 26 tight, man. You know, I'm proud of my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Got out, got married. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it's no excuses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's no excuses. The yeah. niggas that been out here, they ain't never went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It's no excuses. You should be still in the same spot when most of everybody been locked up doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? It's no excuse. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, salute to my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? For doing this thing, man. That's why I met you at. You know what I'm saying? My nigga thing, man. It's Hollywood. It's all good, baby. You know what I'm saying? For real, homie. Keep you your know? head up, man. And uh, like, I'll see you again, bro. That's a bet. That's a bet. That's a bet, man. All right. Salute. Once again, real life people, real life story with nothing is ever scripted at the Ferguson Chronicle, man. Triple OGC man said it well. A man with a made up mind is the most dangerous man in the world. Continue to make progress and remember C O E T character over everything means a lot. Continue to work on your character and be a better person than you were the day before. OG Hollywood, salute. <laughs>